I'm Darby Pope and I'm Jonah Brenner. And today we're going to be showing you some many of the daily activities that many of the classes here do at Bangor West. Over to Miss Arnold's classroom and here we're doing a bingo. In class to win a bingo piece you just have to be quiet and be following on task and doing following all expectations in your class. When you get a bingo on the bingo board, then you get the thing on top of the bingo board. You get it like on Friday. What type of things are on top of the bingo board? Um, right now we have tasty treat or special treat. Yeah. So you get a tasty treat or a special treat? Yeah. Very cool. And every day we get one, we switch it to another treat. Like last time we had PJ Day. Yeah. And in the and you have to get five in a row. If you, cause that's all I would think about thinking about. You can get a side to side and then it goes like that, or you can get up and down, or you can get it when it goes like a square is like right here, and then you go down vertical. Like yeah. Diagonal? Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you. Okay. That's some awesome stuff, Miss Arnold. I heard Miss Eckerd's class is doing cool stuff too. Let's see what she's doing. So we have this paper and we got the, like all of these stars and like smiley faces and hearts and then we go get a new paper and we do it like forever I think and then we give like some surprises. How many books do you have to read to get a class? Mm, like there's like these like many and then like you gotta fill in all of these. And then, like, after you fill in all of these, you get surprises. Like, like, all You can only pick one, though. I think, like, all of this, I think. Or, like, all of this. And then one time, I got, like, some bubbles, and, like, they're in a heart container. And it has a necklace. Ooh, that sounds cool. It came with a necklace? Like a chain. And I think there's probably 20 or something. And once I got a blue up fishy, but the dogs chewed it. And I couldn't, I was mad at them. <laughs> hey, Jonah, do you ever walk around the building and see someone carrying around, um, carrying around a little ticket in their hand? Yeah, it's called a pause ticket. Oh, let's learn more about those pause tickets. You can earn paw tickets by showing integrity and doing many other things. You can also show integrity by doing your homework and putting it in at the correct time. Sometimes staff members, teachers, and even students will pass out the paw tickets and probably place them on your desk. It is most likely that you'll have to put your name on the paw ticket so then you can win the and there might be a slight chance that you might win the paw ticket poll. This is how this is what you can get from them. You can you can get free popcorn on Friday. You can have a, you can have lunch with Mr. Finnegan, and you can have a hot chocolate. Well, that person looks really familiar. Isn't that you? Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, let's head on to class passes. Hi, I'm Adlon. I'm here to talk about class passes. How you get a class pass? is um, another grown-up found you being the whole class being good. How do we get a class passes? Being respectful for a class and being good and um, we be responsible for others. The principal announced class passes and stuff and also of your people of every body piece good you get all of the class passes there's some prizes you get um you can, mr vinegar can read to you you'll have a pizza party you'll maybe have a free pajama day or you'll maybe or you'll maybe get a treat 
And our newest thing at Benjamin West is thinking our teachers on Thankful Thursday. We let's send it over to the Shoemakers class to learn more about that. We are starting something that's called Thankful Thursday. We appreciate our teachers. And we're to turn them in at, it's, so you would have a little piece of paper and you would go down to Mrs. S's room and you would find a bin somewhere and that's where you would turn it in. Every day, every Thursday during the morning announcements, Mr. Feniger reads off some of the ones that people have put into the bucket. Like Mrs. Shoemaker and Mrs. Arnold and Miss Hill and everyone. Like Mrs. Jones, she always says hi to me in the morning. And Mrs. S. Have you ever heard of a library on wheels? I think it's a new book vending machine that just that just appeared overnight. Wait, not overnight. Over Christmas break, yeah. So let's actually head over on that so we can see that library on wheels. We just got the new book vending machine and ways to earn tokens for it is being student of the week, getting being a winner for just for kids, or just doing a good deed. You gotta keep the book as well if you get the token. And if you keep the book, my favorite books are space books. And you can share it to your parents, your cousins, or your friends and read it to them. When I walk past the book vending machine, reminds me to be my best. Every week we have something called Student of the Week considered on the character string. And we'll learn more about that with Miss Hur's class. Let's send it over to Miss Hur's class to learn more. The positivity projects. Um, there are lots of character strings from positive, positivity projects. Um, um, and there's optimism, um, there's optimism, um, um, bravery, and prudence, and other character strengths. So what, what happens? What do you get if you're the student of the week? You get a free popcorn for the day. And you get an award. Once a month, we do something called Just for Kids here at Bangor West Elementary. Let's head over to A. Um, to Avery and Macy Weidenbruder to learn more about this Just for Kids. I'm Macy. And I'm Avery. And today we are going to be talking about Just for Kids. So here are how you can um, get picked. Um, the principal goes around and he asks a teach, um, two teachers each month to um, shout out a kid and it's sponsored by Meyer and Associates. Um, and you can get recognized by helping out in the classroom, helping students, getting your homework done on time. And I think Just for Kids is a really cool program. Me and Avery both won. How about you tell them a little bit about what you can win? You can win candy, gift cards, and um, shirts. Um, I picked a Meyer gift card. I picked a McDonald's. So um, um, I think that Just for Kids is really cool and that if you go to school here, I hope you have good behavior so you can get it. Thank you. Have you seen all those great kids in front of the school? Well, that's Safety Patrol. We can learn a lot more about that in this other video. It's really fun for doing Safety Patrol. It's always fun to race to the front, trying to open the first car door. And um, it's always fun to do that. You can open car doors and you can see dogs and felt welcome families and stuff like that. I always like to be the first uh, person to welcome them if they're having like a bad day or just don't want to go to school today. I always like to welcome and start and you can also make new friends that way too. And for putting up the flag, it's kind of a little bit of pressure because you're like trying not to drop it. You're trying so hard not to drop it, especially if it's windy outside. This is just kind of fun. The fun part about Safety Patrol is about the treats. You get free popcorn on Friday. You get free hot cocoa. <laughs> cocoa. It's nice. And that concludes our... Wait, I think I'm forgetting something. Do you know what it is, Jonas? 
I feel the same way, but I don't know. School Board School of Appreciation Day. Day! Yeah, I forgot. I think that's what we're forgetting, right? Yeah. Um, we appreciate you, School Board, and hope you have a, a great um, 2022. Bye. And that concludes us. There's not also another thing that we do, um, which is called Just for Kids. We do it once a month here at Bangor West, um, at Bangor West Elementary. Bangor West. <laughs> Cut. Okay, this is going wrong. <laughs> Hello, I am Darby Crow, and welcome to the in oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm being on here. You're barely in there. <laughs> so we have another thing that we do here. It's also called Just for Kids. Just for Kids is an organization where we, where they, where they um, collect a bunch of kids, not collect, but just um, get a bunch of kids together who are young geniuses and um, would like to help the community by doing community service work. If you want to learn more, you should probably talk to my friend Macy in Miss Nelson's classroom after school hours. Okay, let's redo that one. Cut. <laughs>